This is a foamy fixed wing drone plane, a plone or a drain, whatever you want to call it. It's a lot of fun. And this one has the DJI air unit in here with the uh, antennae. So I can use this with the FPV camera with the DJI digital goggles. And I will do that. But first, we've got to put this together. Super easy to assemble. You just put the nacelle thing on the new wing. That's what I'm calling it, the new wing. And uh, it just goes right on there. Same with the other two motors. You just put it on the wing there. You just find all the little pieces that fit together and boom, just like that. You don't need any uh, extra glue or anything, they tell me, so I'm sure it's gonna be fine. These look almost exactly like DJI Phantom two through four motors. Comes with two of these batteries that last a good long time in horizontal flight mode. They got the XT60 connectors on them and they're easy to charge. It comes with a charger, of course, spare propellers, and this little weighted piece that is in the nose of the plane to keep it balanced when you don't have an action camera up here. You don't have to fly it with an action camera, but you do need the uh, wing. So we're gonna go ahead and retrieve that. <laughs> Well, thank you, kind sir. Pretty damn windy. But we're gonna try to fly this thing anyway. The controller is an Android-based system. You can install your own apps in here, but you will need to do it using APK files. I'll put a link in the description to show you how I did the screen recording on this. Oh yeah, works better with propellers. So what you wanna do is it's got two silver ones and you look for the little one here without the nipple. This is a regular, get a little bit of torque on that and you're good to go. The other two propellers are black and you match them up. In order to turn it on, you take the door off of the battery compartment that's on with a magnet and it reveals the battery. You just plug this in. You do have to calibrate the airspeed sensor and that is this pito tube right here. But first, everybody loves the compass calibration dance. Let's do it. A do 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 quick interjection here from editing can as you can see i'm in the middle of finishing this video you're watching it took me a little bit to figure out how to calibrate this thing only because this image wasn't very clear about how to orient this drone in order to calibrate the compass and so i got a little bit frustrated if you would like to see the full, much longer than this video itself version of me trying to calibrate this drone with all the profanity included, then become a member. Now, back to the video. Hey, hey, all right, did it. We've got to calibrate the airspeed, which is this pitot tube. You hold this and it's calibrating, completed. Now, you're blowing it. Completed, all right. <laughs> in order to start it, down and this way. And that'll start the motors. It'll start the motors. It'll start those motors. The interface was a little bit tricky to figure out, mostly because- It's in Chinese. <laughs> it's in Chinese. Is this some, some is this a prank? Pre-flight checks failed. Pre-flight checks failed. Nuh-uh. We'll just delete all those. There we go. Now start. You mother f It's the easiest drone you'll ever see. Check that link in the description. Reject altitude control. Oh, so I've, I've got no, it, it didn't save it from the last time I put this in here. You'd think it would. So all these, all these things that I have to put in here, these values, this is the safe altitude when it will transition from horizontal flight into drone flight. So I did that max distance. Uh, let's just do, so uh, the max done, max flight altitude, whatevs. <laughs> Return to home altitude. Let's make that 30, this is all in, in meters. This isn't in real measurements, so you have to kind of do a little, I'm just kidding, just kidding, Europe. Fail safe action, return to launch, low battery warning, blibbity blah. Critically low warning, blip blop. All right, I think we're good. All right, hot damn, whoa, shit. All right, so it, it, 
it pretty much flies like a regular drone. At least we got it flying. Oh hell. Oh hell. All right, I gotta land it. I got oh I got I gotta land it. I, I don't know what happened to it. I hit return to home. I don't know what's going on. I hit return to home. I don't know what's going on. Did it crash? Oh, it crashed. Not optimistic at this point. So these wings are actually designed to do this so that it doesn't break. And you just put them right back. All right. He's still going? We'll just pop that battery back in and try it again. Okay, I think I know what I did wrong. Many of you may be yelling at your screen saying, you dumbass, you, you should have. Back when I was inputting all the numbers that I input yesterday so that I wouldn't have to input them again, um, I put a one as the, the value for how low it can go or how high it needs to go before it transitions to horizontal flight. And you may have noticed that at some point it did try to go into horizontal flight when it was one meter off the ground. It would be cool if when you put the numbers in, it remembered them to your next flight, but apparently it doesn't do that. Uh, but I do wanna show you how fun it can be to fly FPV with the digital system that's on here. It's a little bit later in the day because we had to wait for the rain to pass, but we're gonna give this another try. If it lands in the high grass over there with all the ticks, Jason's gonna retrieve it. <laughs> so I'm going to change these parameters because you have to do it each and every time because it won't remember it. Okay, just going to do a little testing here. All right, so it's flying like, like a drone. So I'm going to go up and then I'm going to hit the A button and it'll transition into horizontal uh, flight. I'm glad the wind has died down. All right. And then hit the A button. And there we go. It turns very slowly. I'm gonna bring it around here. It's a little high. I wonder if I can get it down towards me. All right. Okay. <laughs> Well, this actually is fun after all. Let me see if I can transition it. Okay, wonderful. Will it hold that space while I put the goggles on? Nah, I'll land it and then put the goggles on. We'll take off again. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Excellent. I got a line of sight it while I take off. I'm gonna hit the A. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh, it does not turn fast. I am over the water over there and I'm getting far away. I gotta come back here. <laughs> but this is fun, for sure. I'm a little too high. I'm over the runway. All right. Now, you can see where we are down there, and I don't wanna get the, it's not as responsive as a foamy with uh, ailerons and everything. But uh, how high would you say I am there, spotters? Uh, 50, 40 feet. Okay, I'm gonna bank over this way. It is fun, but I am getting a little bit of glitchiness up here. Unfortunately, I can't record in the goggles to show you. But I'm all the way down on the throttle, and I wanna come back over this way and down by us. It will not go below a certain, okay. So that setting where I set it to 30 meters, it won't go below that for horizontal flight. It will if you set it, 
But um, since I'm just getting used to this, uh, yeah, and I'm losing it. Okay, so there we go. I don't know what happened to it, but I'm gonna hit return to home. Is it coming back? It's coming back. Okay, good. Had to hit return to home because we're right next to this metal building. I should actually have been standing out here. Let's see where it lands, see how accurate it is. Yes! You did a good job! I'm going to stand over closer to the runway and change the parameter that allows it to go to horizontal flight lower so that I can get a nice shot down the runway here. In Class G airspace, right Jason? Class G. Class G. Yeah. Fortunately, with the DJI goggles, you can kind of look underneath. So I, I'm like this. I can still, I, I still got VLOS. I still got VLOS. And going up. Transition. There we go. That's nice and low. I'm getting a bit of break up here, and it is starting to rain. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and hit return to home. That's hitting the B button. So even if I'm in horizontal flight, it'll immediately go into, I think, yes. It's coming around, is it? It'll transition into drone mode. And it should come down and land. All right, I stand corrected. It is fun. It's very different from what you're used to flying a regular drone. If you've never flown a fixed wing foamy or a flying wing, you might have a little bit of trouble. I apologize for all of the horrible things I said earlier. This is absolutely wonderful. It's a steep learning curve if you've kind of trained your mind, you've been flying drones for years. This is going to be a bit of a sticky wicket for you. But uh, I'm looking forward to flying this again on a non-windy non-rainy day. Thank you so much for watching this video and now your chance to win this thing. This of course is the Swan K1 by HEQ and you may be asking yourself, are you giving this away because you didn't enjoy it? Absolutely not. I had a great time flying it, but I think someone out there watching can have a greater time with it. And so if you would like to win, simply comment below, plone or drain. That's it. I will pick a winner from those who commented on an upcoming TNL. If you don't know what TNL is, check the link in the description. If you want to guarantee that you get this, then you can buy one with the link that is also in the description. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time, bull and bye. Are you hungry? Maybe you'd like to eat some winglets. Mmm, a little barbecue sauce. Progress bar, progress bar, and here comes the fun. Bye, wing. <laughs> hey, sock it to me. <laughs> oh. It's got a whole bunch of other buttons on here that I don't know what uh, they do, but uh, I guess we'll find out. I do know this one's important somehow. <laughs> All right, so it wants me to do this.